How's it going, everybody? Hudlomont, back with some more Steins Gate. And uh, last time, we changed time again! Because we keep just letting people do things. Not checking what they're writing. We're just letting them do things. Because we're smart. I, I feel like at this point, <laughs> Okabe doesn't have the right to call himself a scientist. <laughs> He's mad, but no scientist. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Anyway, uh, so Faris changed something. Probably her relationship with her dad. I guess uh, we're gonna find out how that just royally screwed up the world. Because I just have a feeling. Uh, since her dad was someone important. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> here we go. Faris's dad seems like a cool guy. He's not pompous like you expect rich people to be. The sun is setting, but there's still a crowd in front of Akaba Station. More foreigners than usual. People come from all over the world to buy electronics and otaku goods in Akaba, but it looks like the satellite is attracting some as well. Man, it's hot. Less than a minute outside and I'm already drenched in sweat. I feel that, bro. Faris's air-conditioned apartment was a little slice of heaven. I'd love air conditioning in the lab, but we don't have that kind of money. <gasps> but what if Faris can help us put one in? Because she's rich! She'll help us get money for the lab! How much you want to bet? Because she's a lab man now! <gasps> oh, this is good news! I can already see the future. I've already been there and come back. Anyway, how about some food? I turn around and ask Daru and Mayushi what they think. Mayuri's not there. Huh? Where'd Mayuri go? Huh? You're right. She's gone. Did Stardust Handshake activate again? I scan the area. No. There she is. Walking casually towards the station. She's already about 50 meters away. Okay. What do we got? Lukaku! That game was fun. That pager number guessing game was fun? Wait, did we guess? I... Oh, we probably had to guess to find out what the pager number is, right? So, I'd love to do it again sometime. Afterwards, I asked my mom about what it was like when she was young, uh, and she looked so nostalgic. I don't know why she sighed so deeply, though. I did 10 practice swings with Samadare. Hey! Had a boy falling right into Okabe's trap. <laughs> but wait a minute. She sighed so deeply, though. I wonder if that's a hint as to what happened, because we know we changed time, we just don't know what happened with that. So, that's interesting. And there's nothing I can write back, so I guess that's it. I chase after her. Mayuri! Where are you going? Oh, Karin. Um, Mayushi was thinking about stopping by Nakano Broadway before going home. If you're going home, then why didn't you just say so? <laughs> Sorry. All I could think about was going to Nakano. Mayushi's like some kind of ninja. Never noticed she was gone. Mary does this a lot. She just wanders off without saying anything. And just like Daru said, you never notice she's gone. So when you turn around to look for her, it's like she vanished into thin air. Stardust handshake and sneaking fade. Why did her powers have to be so annoying? <laughs> what business do you have in Nak Nakano anyway? Well, I sorrow sword. Dojinshi came out yesterday. Porn? <laughs> 
Don't ever say that about her again. I will smite you. Gosh. No, but the illustrator is Koga Yui-san. Maybe she thinks it's finally time to get serious about costumes again. Koga Yui? She was the character designer for last year's Gunbam. Yep. Buy me one too. <laughs> Okie dokie. What are you guys talking about? If you want doujinshi, why not go to Toran... Toranoana? Torano... To wow, that's a tongue twister. Toranoana. <laughs> it's right over there. Daru and Mayuri stare at me blankly. There? Where? What? You know, there. Right over... I follow my pointing finger. Taranoana isn't there. What? Oh, frick. Oh, no. Oh, what if, uh... What if that's what she had her change? Or she had the... What if Faris had her dad, like, not put that type of stuff in? Oh my gosh. Like, did she do a good thing? But what else did it change? Because he controls Akihabara, right? So, uh-oh, okay. I mean, so far, I'm okay with this. Get that out of here, but, like, also... Uh, what? I rub my eyes and blink several times. It doesn't help. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. I check up and down the street, but no. It's nowhere to be found. And what's more, I can't find Animate either. It's supposed to be right next to Taranoana. Instead, I see electronics stores. Daichi Kaden and T21 Minami? Never seen them before in my life. Wait. I remember Mr. Braun saying that Akaba used to have a lot more electronics shops. Many of them closed. I think Daichi Kaden and T21 Minami were among them. Oh, crap. Where the heck did Toranoana and Animate go? Have you lost it, man? Huh? There aren't any Toranoanas or Animates in Akaba. That's why Mayushi goes to Nakano to buy doshi Dojinshi. What do you mean there aren't any? They were there yesterday, weren't they? What about earlier today? I wasn't really paying attention on the way to Faris's apartment, but I'm pretty sure they were still there. There's no Moe stores in Akaba, man. You know that. The holy land of Moe is Nakano. Oh, crap. She totally changed that then. Akihibara was like the place for Moe stuff, and now it's just not. Why would she change that? Dude, you got to start reading messages if you're going to let people mess with time, dude. And it's got to be something that's not going to destroy stuff. I, who knows what that could have affected. I mean, that's a big change. This isn't just the lottery and like, oh no, we didn't get the full lottery. We just got like third place or whatever. This is... This is getting more serious. You got to take this serious, my guy. But Akaba is the holy land of Moe. The whole world knows that! Has the heat finally gone to your head, Okarin? Akaba is the electric town. If you opened a Moe store here, the electronics otaku would riot. This feeling again! Dissonance. My memories don't match reality. The past has changed. This isn't just like a small memory change though, bro. This is 
you 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 would have known this. You, this would have you would have grown up with this. This should be like really obvious. I mean, right? I, I anyway. Part of me knows what has happened. But I still can't help but ask. What about Mendarake? Nope. Akabao? Of course there's an Akabao. I mean, Akabao... O... O... o, o Koku. <laughs> Where they sell doujinshi. The heck's that? They sell doujinshi at Akabao? Of course not. That would be crazy. Gamers! Rimutara! They shake their heads. Melon books! Asobit City! They look confused. So, basically... I swallow hard. I finally understand. It's hard to believe. But I must face the truth. Chaos has forsaken this place. Every last store that sold anime, eroge, or moe goods has disappeared from Akaba. Holy crap. In a final desperate attempt to deny reality, I run to May Queen plus Nyan to the second power. The maid cafe where Mayuri and Faris work and which Daru and I frequent. But upon arriving at the storefront, I'm forced to my knees in abject defeat. Oh my gosh. He got rid of the store. It's gone. It's all gone. It's not just the Moe stores. Even the maid cafes have disappeared. Mayuri. You work at May Queen, don't you? May Queen? What's that? A potato? May Queen plus Nyan to the second power! I asked Daru too, but no reaction. May you she works at Lem Lemi Lemoine Lemoine? Remember? Lemoine? Is that a maid cafe? It's just a normal coffee shop. Is there even a single maid cafe in Akaba? Nah, man. The people here hate Moe businesses. Nobody would go. Uh, uh. It's clear now. This has to be the result of Faris's D-mail. Yeah, no duh, dude. You didn't check it to see what would happen. Like, th okay, this goes further than just like, oh, you know, what's the big deal? It's, you know, they just didn't have, you know, this place here. But who knows if this, like, made it so that certain people that had jobs maybe don't have jobs now. You know what I mean? Like, we don't know. Just because, like, Mayuri got another job at some other place doesn't mean other people got the chance. What if this was somebody's livelihood? And by destroying that, you, you put them on the streets or something. Like, what if the people that opened up this this store are, like, bad guys now? Like, what like what if we find out that, like, oh, you know, later on, while we're, you know, as we delve further into all this crap, they're like, ah, oh, yes, I wanted to open up a maid cafe, but when my dreams were crushed, I became an evil villain or something. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, these, these, this, this is getting bigger now. This is, this is more than just, like, one person. I, I hope he, I hope he understands that now. This is, this is, this is not good. This is going to have so many bad ramifications. The butterfly effect is at it again. Farah said she had influence over Akaba's development board. They adopted her plan and embraced the Moe industry. But, but by sending a D-mail to 2000, the world line has shifted to one where that never happened. 
Akaba is still electronics all the way. To think that a single male could rewrite ten years of a town's history. Yeah! You, like, why are you even questioning that that's possible? You're making me mad. <laughs> is it okay to change history on a whim like this? No, not really. <laughs> oh my gosh. I almost feel guilty about it. You should. But since I'm the only one who remembers the original Akaba, nobody can blame me. And it's not like I can change it back. Wow. Way to, like, just remove all responsibility from yourself. Way to completely just say, not my problem. I allowed her to use this time machine that I put together, but, you know, not my problem. That does not bode well for what could happen later. Oh my gosh, we've been slowly building up to this, right? It started with small things, like, let's get some money, and, you know, or, or even before that, like, let's see if bananas move from one place to another. Let's see if I can send somebody a message a couple days ago, just to say hi or whatever. Let's see if I can, like, literally change who somebody is from male to female. And now we're at, like, let's just change a ton of history by sending one little message. This is not good. <laughs> But still, what in the world did Faris's D-mail say? Gosh. The next morning, I go for a stroll through the streets of Akaba. What I discover is that, although the chaotic energy familiar to me has receded, Akaba is still Akaba at its core. The few electronic stores that I used to frequent are still here. In fact, they've multiplied. You can still hear their loud theme songs and, and the cries of salesmen all the way from the sidewalk. Electronics otaku and PC maniacs walk the streets with unkempt hair, wrinkled clothes, and eyes burning with intense purpose. There are even cheerful foreigners taking in the sights. The maids and young female otaku have disappeared but the hobbyist uh, essence of the town is unchanged. I admit, it's a relief. That... He is so irresponsible. <laughs> Just so irresponsible. It is frustrating how irresponsible he is. Yesterday, I heard from Meyuri how we met Faris on this world line. I was wondering, since May Queen no longer exists, it was at a small Rynet tournament at a toy store in Ikebukuro. We went to cheer on Daru, but he dropped out because of a stomachache, so Miyuri and I ended up taking his place. Our opponent was Faris. We got crushed, needless to say, but Miyuri says that Faris was very gracious and gave us advice on how to play. That was the beginning of their beautiful friendship. So it's almost like, I mean, like, this is a more serious version, but this is like the, like, ultimate, alternate reality that we had in The World Ends With You, where it's like now everything is just, like, dictated by, uh, you know, Tim Pin Slammer, where it's like now, like, our whole, like, not the, obviously not the world, but, like, our, our friendships and stuff, because, like, I don't think Okabe used to play Rynet, so it's like that, it, it's like that became, like, a bigger part of our life as we just, you know, made another fraction in this world line. Oh boy, okay. Our past has changed considerably, yet we still ended up with the same close relationship we had on the last world line. Fascinating. Maybe Lady Luck is looking out for us. Yeah, that's a great way to look at it, my guy. I've got mail. What? the heck is that? Hello? Uh, uh, um. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh.
Is that supposed to like represent a jellified person? Cause it's like red like blood? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it just in case. What if this is just someone playing a prank on us? It's one of our other, you know, friends and they're just like, ha ha, I got you. But also, if it's not, Oh crap. <laughs> what the heck? Is this a prank? Spam? Why red gelatin? Who's watching me? What's going on here? I spin around, searching the crowd. A few passers-by look at me strangely. I don't care. Something is wrong. Goosebumps... Goosebumps break out over my body. Is it the organization? CERN? If so, then... This male is a threat. My pulse skyrockets. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! What do I do? Do I tell someone? Who? I can't involve anyone. It's a prank. It has to be. Ignore it. But, but, but what if what if it's serious? Are the men in black coming? I'm dead. They'll erase me. Erase us. Should I call the police? No. Not enough evidence. What do I do? What do I do? What the heck do I- Thoughts spin inside my head. Every pedestrian looks like an enemy. I flee from the crowd. Oh my gosh. After I manage to calm myself down, I head back to the lab. For now, I'll write that mail off as a prank. Yeah, that's good. That's a good way to look at it, my guy. Are you freaking kidding me right now? It's still early. Well, I guess it's actually noon, but Mayuri, Kiritsu, and Lukako are already at the lab when I return. I greet them, trying to keep the anxiety out of my voice. It's Sunday. Oban weekend. What are you doing here, lab girls? Pardon the intrusion, Okabe-san. Good morning, Okarin. The two cute high school girls waved to me in greeting. Wait, 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 wait. He's calling her a girl. Does he mean that, or is he just, is he just saying that and he's gonna be like, ah, I, I screwed up because I forget he looks like a girl. Did his memory actually alter? Did it actually work? Is she actually? Is, is he actually a she now? Oh my gosh! They're just hitting us with everything all, all at once. Okay, oh gosh, oh, thank god, oh. Oh my gosh, I thought everything was just coming down, okay. Oh. My heart. By the way, one of these girls is actually a boy. In any case, the sight warms my heart. Or would, if not for a certain assistant, who just gives me a bored look before going back to reading. What are you doing? Mayeri and Lukako are sitting next to each other on the sofa reading a book together. It looks like a cosplay photo album. Yesterday, I went with to Nakano to buy dojinshi, remember? While I was there, I found a photo album of a super cute cosplayer. So I splurged on it. Look, Luka-chan, this is a costume of Sedona from Bloodtoon. It's so detailed and cute. It is. I see. She's showing it to Lukako as part of his re-education. To think that he was so reluctant to get involved in cosplay. <laughs> Looks like Mayuri's persistence has paid off. 
please. Am I actually right? They're gonna they're gonna pull the rug off of our eyes all of a sudden. We're gonna have understanding. I can I can feel it. Actually, judging by his obvious interest in the photo album, maybe he was always interested in cosplay. Just too shy to cosplay himself. Take a look, Chris Chan. It's amazing. I'm okay. Looks like Kiritsu's not interested in the photo album. She just gives a cold hmph. Instead, she's reading a difficult looking English book. Dang it! This is no time to be showing off your intelligence. You're going to make Mayuri cry if you talk to her like that. Or so I thought. But Mayuri doesn't seem to mind, so I stay out of it. Wow! Look at all these swimsuits! So much skin! She's got a great figure! Like a... Graver... Gra... 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 idol! <laughs> Is that how you say it? Gravere? Must be nice. Nice? The swimsuits? I don't have that great a figure. Don't worry, Luka-chan. I'm sure you'll make our big friends breathe hard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey now, Mayuri. What are you saying? It's like you're referring to Daru with that remark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it does sound like that, doesn't it? What the heck? And, um, plenty of people like flat chests. So, even if you don't have breasts, you should still have confidence in yourself. <laughs> Kiritsu starts choking on her coffee. <laughs> I know how she feels. I almost did a spit take with my soda. Mayuri, Mayuri's breasts are huge for her height, so her advice lacks a certain element of persuasion. I know! Once Komima's over, let's all go on a trip to the beach! Mayushi's been making costumes all summer. I haven't had time to play at all. What do you think, guys? A lab mem beach trip. Oh, oh no, please. Please. Um, all of the lab mems? I can't go. I have to go back to America soon, and I haven't even started packing yet. Yes, I can see you're in a rush. I bet you don't even have time to lounge around and read. Kuritsu snaps her book shut and glares at me. Fine. I'll be blunt. There's no way I'm swimming with two perverts like you. If it's just the girl members, I'll happily go. <laughs> be honest, Christina. You just don't want me to see the Mongolian spot on your butt. I don't have a Mongolian spot. Anyway, if, <laughs> if it's just the girl members, then that doesn't rule out Luk or then doesn't that rule out Lukako? And here it is. What's that supposed to mean? Didn't we tell you earlier? Lukako is a bona fide guy. My declaration of the truth freezes the air instantly. Huh? There's something off about their reaction. You're the worst. Where do you get off calling her a guy? Yeah, Okarin. That's a terrible thing to say. Uh... Even Mayuri condemns me. Lukako, meanwhile turns pale and hangs his head so I can't see his face. Is he... crying? Normally, he'd get depressed and say something about how embarrassed he'd be to wear a swimsuit, but he wouldn't start crying. 
Christina, I understand your desire to deny the truth. It's difficult to imagine that a guy could ever be so cute, but... Okabe! Kiritsu's advances on me with a stern glare. Typo. If you want to give me stupid nicknames, that's fine. I mean, it's not, but... What you said just now is below the belt. I didn't take you for that kind for the kind of guy who thinks it's funny to hurt people's feelings, but I guess I was wrong. You're a real jerk, Okabe. Huh? What did I do to deserve this tongue lashing? Apologize. Apologize to Urushiba Urushibara-san right now. Wait a second. I don't have to apologize for anything. I just said the truth. It's okay. Lukako gets up from the sofa. His head is still hanging and his voice is barely audible. So, that's how Okabe-san sees me. No, no, no! That, that's not how I see you, Lukako. You're a, you're a guy, remember? Or are you denying reality too? You're the one denying reality! That's right! Luka-chan's a girl, Okarin! You're terrible! It's all happening all at once, I was right. All at once. It's all happening all at once. I... Why is it suddenly this way? It's like the more we fraction the world line, the more things change dramatically. Like, what if all of these changes in history are actually adding up, and had they not have added up the way they did, things wouldn't have changed so dramatically. But because we're doing so many that are actually starting to affect real things now, like 10 years of city history, it's now actually making the other less lesser things that wouldn't have taken place now take place. Mayuri... When did you start calling Lukako Lukachan instead of Lukakun? Cut it out already, Okabe! She's a girl! Mayuri nods in agreement. Uh. Huh? What's going on here? You're so dense. Is this some kind of prank? I'm going home. Lukako tries to slip by me out of the lab. I grab his hand to stop him from leaving. Hold it, Lukako! You can't fool me! You're as much of a man as I am! And I know how to prove it! Don't, dude! Uh, oh no! Oh no! I pin Lukako's arms and reach for his package. Let's see what you're hiding. Down. Nothing. Oh. Oh. Uh. You. Uh. Uh. Huh? What? Why? I feel around some more. Uh, no, don't. okabe some please. Stop. <laughs> Nothing. Nada. It should be there. Dude, just stop. Just stop. I mean, he's a guy. Isn't he? An, an electric current runs through my brain. No way. Yes, way. So that's what happened. Lukako, you... The demail that I thought had failed was actually a success! You're a girl? That's what I've been saying! 
half second later, Kiritsu cracks me over the head with her heavy textbook. <laughs> when my vision clears, Lukaku is crying. Mayuri is rubbing her back comfortingly. Now it switches to her. Kiritsu, meanwhile, is glaring down at me like I'm something she scraped off the bottom of her shoe. Daru, who arrived a moment ago, is in the corner, trying not to laugh. Honestly, I can't blame him. Righteous high school girl makes perverted college guy beg for forgiveness. If I had to put a title to the scene, that's, that's what it would be. The top of my head is throbbing. Most likely because Kuritsu wiped out a hundred million of my precious neurons, envied by scientists the world over. I put a moist towel on my head, to my head. I want to vivisect your skull and remove your brain for a good washing. Then I'll submerge it in culture fluid, so you can never do anything like that again. Anyway, just be thankful I haven't reported you to the police. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Man, that was dumb. I didn't think it would be gone. <laughs> Lukako has become a girl. Her face hasn't changed, and she's flat as a board. But she's definitely a girl. There's no denying what my hand didn't feel. I guess that ridiculous superstition was true. If you eat vegetables, you'll have a girl. Does this count as a scientific breakthrough? Anyway, I'd better apologize to Lukako. I hope she doesn't get PTSD because some pervert, me, groped her. I mean, she's a 17-year-old girl now, and she was shy to begin with. I'll need to be as gentle as humanly possible from now on. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she never spoke to me again. I have no one but myself to blame. I'll just have to accept the consequences. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is not good. You have no idea. I mean, like, in this case, I guess, it's like... Lukaku would have never have known any different. But it still isn't okay to just morph somebody from what they're, they were supposed to be. Not only... Do we not know how that could affect other things? I mean, I guess according to John Titter, that's a small thing. That, like, it's probably, like, fractions of, of like, a point of what could actually affect the world line. But aside from that, you have no idea how maybe this could have affected her, I guess, now. Because of that. You just, you don't know the ramifications. You can't just say, this is what this person wanted, and therefore I will change it. That is just, that is not an okay thing to do. It's like, if God made you to be that way, then that's how you were supposed to be. Like, this is, this is not okay. I, I am so now scared of the ramifications. I, I like Lukaku. I, I just have a bad feeling. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. But I mean, I don't know. Oh, this is not good. Everything's crum crumbling down. What else ch What else did we try to change that now would be changed? The lottery ticket probably didn't. Um, we I don't think we know what Moeka sent, do we? Oh, her phone. We we have to check if she got an, her old phone um the, the the yeah, her old phone back. Didn't she have an orange phone? Didn't it go from being orange to purple when and the purple was the new one? But I thought when we saw her last in the in in the timeline right before this one she had her orange phone back i think i'm right 
but if that's the case then then she got her old phone back which means that happened i'm seriously wondering if the more we change time the more other things that we tried to change are starting to now come into being oh i hope he's careful now i, I hope he doesn't take what happened here and say this is great we can start doing other stuff now like i don't know i don't know because of how how irresponsible he is i just do not know what could happen here oh no anyway what in the heck made you think that uruchi san was a boy <laughs> as i already explained we changed the past lukaka was a guy but he wanted to be a girl so we sent a email to make his wish come true and it worked I knew the world line had changed. My magic eye, reading Steiner, saw the shift in time. But I chose to believe my mundane senses instead. I should have had more faith in my powers. I won't make that mistake again. Wait a minute. So, when it first happened, did it actually change? Or did we just assume that it didn't because Lukaku was still wearing the same clothing and all that stuff and we just didn't, you know talk about he she whatever it just kind of like we just went without anyone could it calmly reads her book above my head readies her book above my head excuse me want some more i'm telling the truth you have to believe me i can't explain this phenomenon logically when we sent the d-mail we changed the past, and all of history changed as a result. My brain perceived that change. I leaped to my feet, overcome with excitement. Out of all mankind, I alone can perceive changes in casualty. Casualty? Yeah, casual, causal, casualty. I think it's casualty. Dad, uh, we'll, the, the editing will we'll, we'll figure something out. I am this world's observer. I look around, expecting to see awe on their faces. Sit down before I hit you again. I do as I'm told. <laughs> Don't you understand? I'm the observer. The one who opens the box holding Schrodinger's cat. Oh, like, like Farah said. So he's going based off of her theory of being the, the one that watches time change. So is he putting himself in place of, like, God then? Because they said that God would be someone who can see that stuff happening. Then that would tie into the whole Messiah thing. This is, this is getting scary. This is getting scary. Shredding Gar? Schrodinger's cat again? The Japanese can't get enough of that cat. You're Japanese, too. I've had enough Schrodinger, thanks. I do admit that Kites are cute, though. <laughs> Daru's absolutely right. Whenever an anime wants to use quantum mechanics, the characters always talk about Schrodinger's cat. Anyway, my magic eye has the power to perceive changes in the world line. This power is called re reading Steiner, as I've explained. And I told you that name was stupid, remember? It's English, like something from a kid's manga. Not to mention, it's a grammatical mess, and there's also the fact that it's half German, so no consistency there either. It's stupid. The same goes for that Steinsgate thing you're always talking about. <laughs> Looks like you've still got that Mongolian spot on your butt, eh, Christina? <laughs> Names are all about feeling. My creativity, comparable to the great Da Vinci himself, cannot be held by the shackles of grammar. <laughs> 
She hits me again. <laughs> I'm seeing stars. Show a little remorse, huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> Lukako is still crying. As punishment, I spend the next 30 minutes on my knees under Kuritsu's watchful eye. If I slouch for a second, I get the corner of her book. I'd accept being told die, pervert, if it were coming from Lukako, but why the heck is Kuritsu butting in? I didn't do anything to her. Does she think she's one of those class president characters? <laughs> like what, like from Maid Summer or something? <laughs> anyway, I flee the lab as soon as my punishment is over. The silent pressure from the girls is just too much to bear. I step into the sun and stretch. My legs are numb from, kneeling, from the kneeling, so I can barely stand straight. At that moment... The brawn tube workshop door opens and out comes part-time warrior. Our eyes meet. Sup? She's less ener energetic than usual. Why are you so wobbly? It's a new exercise. <laughs> huh. Never heard of it. Suzaha answers listlessly as she sits down on the bench. When she aimlessly gazes skyward, I follow suit. Huge clouds are slowly swallowing the blue. The blue. A helicopter flies overhead. I can hear its propellers slicing. A helicopter flies overhead. I can hear its propellers slicing the air. Perfect weather for cycling. Really? But it's so darn hot. How can you exercise on a day like this? I'd rather drink hot coffee in a well air conditioned room while browsing the net. Now that's a luxurious way to spend summer break. If only the lab had air conditioning. Hey! Up for a little cycling? Seriously? She has to be joking. Your bike only has one seat. One of us can sit on the back. Don't you have work to do? Suzaha pops into the store. She's back in less than a minute. I got permission. It's not like we'll have customers anyway. I try to think of an excuse to refuse, but nothing comes. <laughs> Is he the one that's in the bas on the back or whatever? <sighs> I am a mad scientist. Not a mad cyclist. <laughs> so why am I doing the pedaling? Long ago, Aristotle said, Time is just the measure of motion. So put those pedals in motion. <laughs> Mayuri. Masochism. Luka-chan emanates an aura that makes you want to tease her, and you just reacted to that. I understand. When... Mayushi, uh, when Mayushi's with Luka-chan, I feel a little sadistic too, <laughs> but still, you shouldn't tease her in real life. Oh, she's just so pure. She's just, she just, she forgives. She, she just, she, she takes everything like, ah, oh, you were teasing, not actually being a psychopath. I just, oh, Mayuri's the best, but also, uh, oh no. <laughs> And I can't write anything back, right? There's nothing to write back? Yeah, nothing. So. Oh, okay. That doesn't make sense. I'm exhausted. We barely made it to the station. I'd die if, we, if I went another block. 
This was a terrible idea. I should have known better. I get off the bicycle and sit, neck, sit against the station wall. Suzaha sets the bike against the wall and crouches next to me. Sitting on the ground is undignified for a man of my stature, but no matter. I just need a few moments to catch my breath. I watch the crowds of people move past. Nearly all of them are men. Here and there, I see people carrying large boxes, most likely PC parts or appliances. There isn't an anime poster in sight. When Akaba changed, so did the people who visited it. This atmosphere. It's kind of... retro. It's the Akaba I've only seen in pictures. Akaba at the end of the 20th century. The electric town in its purest form. It has risen from the ashes of the past. And the only one who knows it is me. You know, Suzaha murmurs, it's only been 10 days since I arrived in Tokyo. Huh? I didn't know that. Vacation? No, that can't be right. I'm hunting for my father. Oh? That's a strange way to put it. Did he run away? <sighs> I meant it as a joke, but Suzaha looks so serious. I hope I didn't screw up again. I haven't seen him in years, but I know he's in this town. Oh, but then why are you working downstairs? Suzaha works at the Brawn Tube workshop from 11am to 7pm every day. I doubt that leaves much time to search. Honestly, I don't have a clue where to begin. Have you talked to the police? No. Then shouldn't you? Or you could hire a private investigator or something, if you have money. I don't have the resources. And besides, there are... Issues. Issues? I only have one chance. And that chance is tomorrow. I know that tomorrow, he might appear in a certain place. A certain place? I'm telling you, she's a tra time traveler. She is traveling through time. She knows when her dad was going to be here. That's how she knows. I'm telling you right now, she knows things. That has a rather ominous ring to it. Could her father be some kind of fugitive? I stay silent, unable to think of a response. If I miss that chance, then I'll have to leave. By leave, you mean go back home? Not exactly. I have a parallel priority engagement. What? Like, parallel universe? Is that what you mean? I've already made up my mind. I don't find him tomorrow, I'll give up. You're worried, aren't you? <sighs> I understand that feeling. You're alone, searching for your father in an unfamiliar town. It can't be easy. You hoped that talking to someone would help. That's why you sought out the most reliable person around. Me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most reliable. Alas, part-time warrior, you have made a grave mistake. For I am the insane mad scientist Hawawin Kiyoma. Uh... <laughs> you shall be my next guinea pig. Guinea pig? You know what I'm talking about. D-mail, the greatest discovery in the history of science. I've already explained D-mail to Suzaha before. 
you shall be the subject of our next experiment. <laughs> what, what are you going to do? Suzaha takes a step back. She finally realizes the danger she's in. <laughs> do? Simple. I need more data, and I'll do anything to obtain it. You're going to change the past. You can change it however you like, but only I will know the difference. Dude! Have you learned nothing? He's just... He's taking all of the things that we've changed as a positive. It's going to take something really bad happening for him to care. And that bad thing is is it's either going to be Kiritsu dying like we saw way in the beginning or it's going to lead to that. I He disappoints me. He disappoints me. He can be so smart sometimes and so dense other times. Man, if you think that's cruel, then do as you please, but know that you are already caught in my web. You cannot escape. Fear not. I know exactly what you should write in your email. <laughs> Listen well. You're going to send this to your father before he disappeared. Don't abandon your daughter. <laughs> You're a nice guy. You know that? Wh what? I think talking to you really did help. Are you trying to insult me? I am not a nice guy. I am a mad scientist who experiments on women and children. <laughs> He's the opposite of a nice guy. A nice guy would say, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> now tell me your father's email address. If you don't, then I shall unleash the power of my right arm. Once it's unsealed, not even I can control it. You may not survive. Consider yourself warned. Sorry, I can't. You dare defy me? I don't know his email address or his phone number. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a letdown. Yeah, no. She, like, her ignorance and knowing what her dad's information is just saved the world probably again. Gosh! That's why tomorrow's my only chance. Thanks for caring, though. I don't care. I'm just disappointed I couldn't experiment on you. <laughs> anyway, you can send mail to the past. That's amazing. The first time machine ever. Wh Wait, didn't she know? <laughs> of course it's amazing. I am Haoin Kiyoma. Any plans to upgrade it? Upgrade it? You know, like sending people to the past or something? We're working on it. No good ideas yet, though. Then let me give you one word of advice. You should leave Makase Kiritsu out of it. Oh, crap. What do you have against her, anyway? <laughs> Well, better get back to the workshop. Conspiracy theory just hit me. What if... Oh, crap. What if she's saying to leave her out of it? Because what if what if Kiritsu really... You know, all this time she's been like, I don't want to be a part of time travel because it's stupid and dumb, but really she really does like it, right? Because we've seen that little bit come out of her. What if she becomes insane? What if she becomes the mad scientist or something, right? Like, she gets too involved... And starts wanting to actually do crazy things or something. She doesn't like her for some reason. I have a feeling she be she becomes evil or something. I don't know. This is... Oh, I'm calling it though. I only got a 30 minute break. I'll get in trouble if I don't get back soon. 
I stop Suzuha as she gets on the bike. Come to the lab tomorrow, whether you meet your father or not. Why? So I can use your grief to power my time machine. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you really are a mad scientist. So evil. If I meet my father, I'll stop by. Then we can do a gun salute. She laughs happily. Then she starts pedaling. Leaving me behind. <laughs> hey, wait! Let me on! Hey! Suzaha doesn't wait, leaving me with no choice but to run back to the lab. <laughs>